Your little monster will beg for bath time when you make them an adorable hooded monster towel. This tutorial is sponsored by AllFreeSewing.com. You'll need a regular sized bath towel in a color of your choosing. You'll also need a matching hand towel for the hood portion and a contrasting hand towel for the scales. A white hand towel will become the teeth and eyes. You'll also need 5 yards of ribbon that's at least 2 inches wide. We'll begin with the hood. I wanted my towel to have lots of growing room, so I'm using the entire matching hand towel. But if you're making this for a toddler, you'll want to cut the towel in half widthwise, so the hood won't be as tall. Fold the hand towel in half and trace a plate by the upper folded corner. Cut along this curve, then separate the towel into two pieces by cutting along the fold. Now we'll make the scales for the hood. Take the contrasting hand towel and fold it in half lengthwise. Draw a set of zigzags along the open edge of the towel, about an inch up from the bottom of the towel. Do not cut it out yet. It will be easier to sew the zigzags first. My sewing machine has the thread cutter at the base of the machine. So I'm going to put a piece of masking tape over it so it won't snag on the terry cloth. Now sew directly on top of the zigzags. Then cut out the zigzags, keeping the bottom inch of fabric intact so you have one long strip. Clip in the V's for better seams being careful not to snip your stitches. Carefully trim the excess fabric on the points as well. Turn the scales right side out. Lay down one hood piece and line up the scales along the curved edge. Make sure the scales are pointing inward. Pin the scales in place making sure the pins stick out far enough so that they're easy to remove when you're done. You'll notice I'm using fine pins. It's all I had on hand, but I would definitely recommend using thicker, ball-headed quilting pins. They push through the cloth more easily and the heads won't get snagged. Now layer the other hood piece on top. If you have markers showing on one of your towel pieces, it's best to lay that one face up on top so it won't show once it's sewn. Pin together. Sew these pieces together using a 5 8 inch seam. Depending on your sewing machine, you may want to switch to a heavy duty needle or a walking foot, but my machine handled these just fine. Your hood should look like this. Clip notches by the curved seam, being careful not to snip your stitches. Now we can add the hood to the bath towel. Pin the middle of the hood to the middle of one long edge of the bath towel. My towel has a fold line in the middle, so I'll use that as a guide. Pin it so that the hood is upside down and the inside is facing up. We're going to add a couple of pleats to give the hood a better shape. To do this, simply fold the fabric by the middle pin back on top of itself, about an inch. Do this on each side of the middle pin. Pin the pleats together, then continue pinning the rest of the edge. Your towel should look like this. Sew together with a 5 8 inch seam. 
Your towel should look like this. Now we'll finish the edges of the towel with ribbon trim. Fold the ribbon in half around the edge of the towel. Pin in place. At the beginning and end of the ribbon, fold the ribbon under itself a half inch to prevent fraying. Now we'll sew on the ribbon. Don't forget to change your thread and bobbin if you want it to match. Finally, we'll give our little monster a face. Fold the white hand towel in half and make teeth the same way you made the scales. Pin the teeth to the inside of the hood along the inner edge of the ribbon. Sew in place. Cut out two white circles for the eyes. Pin, then sew in place. Switch to a blanket stitch, a satin stitch, or a tight zigzag stitch. The idea is to sew on top of the edge so that it won't fray. Cut two pupils from the scale fabric and sew those on as you did the eyes. Your little monster is done. You could also try making a green dragon or creating a fish by using scallops instead of scales. Bath time has never been more fun. This tutorial was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. For more projects and tutorials, visit madebymarzipan.com.